St Jules Secondary School in time. And this year I will have clocked up 25 years teaching art in the classroom. I couldn't really grasp the idea of um, an online masters where the participants created the content. And I was very interested by the fact that it would give me access to other art teachers. But I remember saying to him that um, at the time I had two small children and that while I was interested in the notion of this access to other art teachers, that there's no way I could take on something um, on anything like that scale. And he said to me that this will not be a burden, Mary. This will be a support to your teaching. And as time went on, that thought germinated in the back of my head. And in 2012, I decided to apply for the Masters. And I have not looked back. I can honestly say that it's one of the best decisions I ever made. Um, at the time, I suppose I was almost Amish in my attitude to technology. I mean, I can't believe now that it's only two years ago and I didn't own any device that could connect me with the World Wide Web. I used the school computer for the importer for roll call and assessment, but that was such a push and very reluctantly. Um, so initially the CFE did require a, a mountainous learning curve, but I suppose the acceptance of the group despite a very high level of skill from some of the participants, showed me very early on that there was a willingness to make allowances for the person. And as people began to realise how very little I knew of technology, um, there was huge support and I was enabled with gentle prodding and to coax in from within the community to produce as time went by, I actually produced a digital video piece for the Favour Studio exhibition, and I think nobody was more surprised than myself when that actually came together, impacting hugely on my teaching. I mean, I don't need anything to explain that the, you know, the, the ripple effect in the classroom is enormous.
it is a built and designed in such a way that it is part of your everyday um, work and are part of your everyday practice and is sustainable beyond the two years that we're in here. And I think that is the strength of it that our group, I think, will and our practice will will move on beyond. It's not just a piece of paper, it is actually changing your attitude to um, teaching and changing your attitude to your work.